Well, members of the state Senate task force on heroin say they hope to pass a number of bills before the current legislative session is through, aimed at punishing dealers and expanding prevention and treatment. Tori Wells, live in studio right now. Tori, one of those bills is named after a colony woman killed by heroin, right? That's right, Greg. Her mother told me the penalties for dealers are not harsh enough. This legislation in her daughter's name would allow police to charge those who sell with homicide. Now, states like New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, they've already enacted or considered similar legislation. She was beautiful. She was brilliant. She was the love of my life. Patty Farrell's daughter, Lorie, was just days shy of 19 when she died of a heroin overdose. She'd started using the drug only months before and had been in and out of detox and treatment. Lorie was fighting her addiction, and Farrell thought she had turned a corner. I went upstairs and I found her dead in her bed. No parent should ever. <laughs> no parent should ever have to live that. Did you ever find out where that heroin came from? No. So I have my daughter gone and no one held accountable. Even if she did know, she said the penalty wouldn't be enough. Farrell wants New York law to change. Senator George Amador is sponsoring a bill in Lurie's name. This bill would finally, finally allow uh, the law enforcement agencies to go after the drug dealer and charge them with, with a crime of uh, murder or, or manslaughter. I really truly believe that they should start raising the crimes, raising the sentences for these people that are coming in here and killing our kids. The assembly has similar legislation that's currently in committee. That sponsor's office tells me he's still pushing for it. Farrell is hopeful it will pass soon. She hopes her daughter's story can save others. What do you think she would think of what you're doing right now? <laughs> it's, everybody keeps texting me saying, your daughter's so proud, she's so proud. And she would never want to see somebody go through what she went through.